everyone, and welcome to an all new episode of West Coast Thrift Journey. I'm Tammy Fletcher, and I am inviting you to come along as I go thrifting today. But I also love to go to estate sales, vintage shop, and also garage sales. I love to find beautiful pieces of jewelry and also home decor that has bohemian and eclectic style. If you love vintage art, and also fashion, be sure to subscribe today so you are sure to get all of my new and upcoming videos. I would really love to read all of your comments, so be sure to comment below. Now let's go thrifting. On today's episode, we're heading into the Goodwill on Pacific Avenue in Forest Grove. Come along as I find jewelry, art, and lots of other fabulous things for my home and for yours. If you're interested in anything that I find today, you just might find it on my website at www.westcoastthriftjourney.shop. This is going to be a quiet thrift with me, so please enjoy this goodwill. And then I will check back with you a little later in the video where we're going to go antique shopping. I just wanted to continue by saying Mel and I are putting together a large sale and I'm really excited to be able to bring that to you really soon. It's going to include some really beautiful pieces of jewelry and lots of other things that you can use for your home. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for that announcement. With this new season and a new year, I have set a challenge for myself to see if I can gain 100 new subscribers every day. So if you have not subscribed yet, please ring that bell so you can help me fill this goal.
after I decided to pick up this lampshade, I decided that I was going to go ahead and go check out and then the line looked way too full for me and I didn't want to wait so I decided I was going to shop some more and I'm really glad I did just check out what else I found. Well, as you can see, I found some really great finds and I did pick up this vase. As it had a crack in it, I did decide that I was going to use it in my own home. And then of course I found some more curtains. So I was really happy with what I found. Now I'm gonna show you some items that I did have at the Rose City Vintage Market. This was the last day that I came in and um, did the Rose City Vintage Market. This was my second day of being set up at the show. I'm really happy with how things went and I sold quite a bit while I was there. I changed my whole entire booth around both days and I had such a blast. So now we're going to go to an antique store in downtown Forest Grove. Come along as we go and check out what they have. Now, one of the vendors in here bought lots and lots of items that I had in my booth at the Rose City Vintage Market to the tune of hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So I decided that I was going to do a tour of this shop. It is located in Forest Grove, which like I said, it is my hometown now. So I love to show it off as often as possible. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite items are. And if you see anything in here that I have purchased, leave me a comment about that as well. I'm really curious to see if you guys have an eye for the same things that I do while I'm thrifting and other per people have purchased from me. I really appreciate you watching this video today. It's been a lot of fun. I really love how some of these booths are put together. It reminds me of Amanda from Amanda's Mercantile. She does such a fantastic reset on her booth every season and she also does a really great job thrifting and finding really great pieces to put in her booth. Make sure and check her out. I will leave her information in the comments and also in the show description. It's always such a pleasure to me to go out and do some thrifting or heading into the antique store and handpicking items that I will be selling on my website. And for you guys to be able to take advantage of those items and put them in your own homes, it just really warms my heart. So we're getting ready to launch a whole new sale on my website at www.westcoastthriftjourney.shop and you guys will be able to scoop up these new items this next Friday. So you will be able to pick up these items on Friday, February 9th at six o'clock. I can't wait for you to see everything that is available for you to put in your home.
As we head into the booth where I sold a lot of items to from the Rose City Vintage Market, I can see that she has a lot of really great pieces displayed that she purchased from me. If you guys found anything in this video that you want to purchase, make sure and contact the store. They would be happy to help you out and help you get those items shipped to your home. They will contact the vendor and make arrangements. I've really enjoyed stopping in and checking out Kate's booth. It is located in the back of the store and I always love checking out her booth. She always has a really great variety of items. If you guys stop into the store, be sure to check into Kate's booth and see what she has available on that day. Also, get a bite to eat while you're in Forest Grove. There's plenty of really great restaurants and then there's two other vintage shops downtown they are really great to check out also i will take you on a tour of the other one and there's also a new one that is getting ready to open in the next month or so so i look forward to show you guys that one if you guys have loved this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe and say hello in the comments thank you so much for stopping in and watching this episode today and until the next time have a great evening